What's going on doll fans? It is your boy Dylan and uh, so I'm making a quick video today. There's some updates and some news, some notes, some things, a couple roster moves that I want to update you on, fill you in on, so on and so forth. So I got that. I also want to comment on a couple things that Brian Flores said in his press conference. I don't have the ability right now to add in the press conferences and interviews and stuff into the end of my videos like I have been doing um, at the moment. Um, but that is something that I will do again at some point when I do have the ability. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated on that as that develops and, and as I get, you know, further along back into that that path so uh, but for now I you know I do want to say a couple things um, uh, in regard to some stuff he said but first <clears throat> I wanted to uh, start with this text or text I, I always say text uh, tweet from Omar Kelly this was actually from yesterday he says folks Josh Rosen will get his time when he's ready he isn't ready so please calm down on the Josh Rosen is our savior talk you're setting yourself up for a massive letdown. So I totally agree with that, except for one thing. Like, I agree with everything he said in that tweet, except for something that was implied by the tweet. Um, it wasn't actually said in the tweet. It was rather implied by the tweet. And what he's implying is that Josh Rosen will get his time here. He's not going to get his time here. Josh Rosen is not going to last. Even if he makes it on the roster next year, he's going to be overshadowed by whatever first round pick we take. I find it highly unlikely that they're going to... Um, I mean, Ryan Fitzpatrick is clearly going to be out. Um, but I just... I, I find it hard to believe that they would sit Josh Rosen behind... Tua or Justin Herbert, whoever we get. I, I imagine they will, um, you know, I mean, like, like I said, it is, po I do think that there is some possibility it could be Josh Rosen and, and Tua. I don't know. I just, I don't think that they would sit Josh Rosen behind him, but you never know. I suppose it is possible. I mean, if they do view him as more of like a backup, then maybe. Um, he's not gonna like that though for sure obviously and uh, I can't imagine that Look, I mean just when when you know when you take the full context I find it hard to believe that Josh Rosen is even gonna be on this team in the next year or two um, But we'll see I mean obviously there is always that possibility anyway, but so you know I think that it's not only gonna be a letdown though this year but just in general and if for anyone who you know has the hopes that josh rosen could be the franchise guy like it's uh, the likelihood of that is slim to none at best so you know we'll see anyway um let's see what else was there so uh quick roster moves uh news so the Dolphins have signed wide receiver TJ Ramming to the practice squad, releasing Christian Sam. Um, also, I had reported in my last video, which uh, is late. I made it yesterday and everything, but it just got uploaded today. Um, it was a video from yesterday. It just got up uploaded today. For some reason, I was having some trouble getting it uploaded. Uh, but it is now uploaded. And uh, in that video, I had reported that Zach Stirrup was re released from the practice squad. Um, and I do have his replacement. It is another, <clears throat> it is another tackle, though, uh, which is good. Um... You know, considering we obviously need super help on the offensive line and even releasing a guy on the practice squad who's from the offensive line is troubling. But it, it's a uh, tackle Chidi Okeke, Okiki or something like that. I'm sorry. I am. I apologize to this dude for absolutely butchering his name. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, dude. Uh, ch tackle Chidi Okeki Okiki, something like that. <clears throat> and so he repla replaces, replaces Zach Stirrup on the practice squad. Um, also, too, 
Uh, it looks like Albert Wilson was not at practice today because of that calf injury. So, I mean, you know, look, injuries are going to be a big part of this. And, you know, I mean, not like we had a really good starting point to begin with. But, you know, after we do have guys, you know, get injured, I mean, the offense is where we need it the, the least. I mean, really, just across the no, just across the board. Any injuries are gonna suck. This one's gonna suck. They're all gonna suck. So, you know, I mean, it's unfortunate news. Um. Anyway, so uh, that's really it on the on the updated roster moves. Uh, there hasn't been anything else. Like I said, they signed T.J. Ramming, Ramming, and uh, Chidi O. Kiki Okeke to the practice squad. Christian Sam and Zach Stirrup were released. Um, and then the injury news of Albert Wilson not at practice. So <clears throat> Brian Flores did have a press conference today. And even though I wasn't, you know, I'm not able to record it and add it into my videos um, at, at this moment. Um, I did watch it and stuff because I obviously I wanted to make sure that I had the full context and stuff from what he was saying So there's just a couple things really that I that of note So I mean most of this question like he got a you know a question or two He got a question about like, you know, since it's not it's September 11th, you know, he got a question about that whatever he got some questions about you know new england and and tom brady and bill belichick and blah 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 whatever um but you know i mean most of the questions that get asked and i mean this is not any different than any other coach or regime or whatever the vast majority of co of, of coaches in this league get very softball questions they very the reporters very rarely actually push them with like you know controversial hard questions or whatever the fact or whatever the 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 fuck um whatever the fact but um you know whatever so most of this most of this interview to me was just kind of fucking you know a bunch of air um but there were a couple things that, that i did find notable um so first of all <clears throat> He said that he was asked a question if there was going to be lineup changes. And um, to be fair to him, he did he he presented the answer in a more broad perspective of, you know, we're kind of looking at the entire uh, the entire team and stuff like that. Uh, but he was asked it in more of a specific reference to the offensive line. And um you know he did uh he did say that you know there too would be potential lineup changes and i mean you know whatever dude like at this point i expect it to just be you know a hot mess regardless so the fact that you know you're gonna uh you know make you know changes at a position group that requires continuity and chemistry and whatever um and in a position group that doesn't have that obviously the obvious offense offensive line you know it's it's not going to make anything but be anything better but you know whatever we'll see um so <laughs> but i did find that interesting so i mean you know he's he's not you know he decided him and his coaching staff decided on an offensive line last week and so apparently you know they're not they're they're not at least going to let them try and build continuity with each other and put them out there again he's just going to go ahead and say fuck it we're going to change it and just add more flux uh also too he mentioned about how uh he talked about and obviously you know when i when i'm giving you his quotes and unless i give you unless i wrote down an exact quote i'm going to be paraphrasing um so you know he talked about uh that it's important on a team to build relationships and so on and so forth but before he was saying that he you know he was talking about how in a previous position that he held you know most likely on the patriots staff when he was a different you know a, uh, a different when he was like a position coach or whatever um something along those lines he he was more of one of the guys right 
and now he's not one of the guys because he's the head coach. So I feel like he has the mentality and I, it wouldn't be surprising because he came up under Bill Belichick and Bill Belichick's not exactly one of the guys, right? He's just an, you know, essentially an authoritarian uh, figurehead in that leadership, right? And it's just do what the fuck I say, point blank, bottom line, period, right? And so it's not surprising that he would have the idea in his head that that's just how it goes. And that's, you know, and, and even further, that's the way to have success. Um, but I'm going to venture to guess that is categorically false, especially in the world today. Maybe at one point, you know, in the past, it used to be like that, but these young players, they're far more outspoken and opinionated and even political these days than they used to be. And it's not, that's not the right way to go about it these days. And again, I thought the way that, and you know, but we've seen, we've seen the negative consequences of that. Like Jerome Baker had even said, right? He's like, yeah, you know, guys want to ask why he did this, but you know, we're afraid to ask because we feel like our job's on the line. Like, that's not a good way. But then, but then he, he, but he went on to say that, yeah, you know, you got to build your, you know, your relationships and they got to be good and stuff like that. Well, bro, you're kind of going about it the entirely wrong way. So that's a major failure on your part. Uh, and from what it appears, it appears to be, uh, based off of, um, you know, a fundamental philosophy of his. So you know, which apparently, but apparently those philosophies of his, you know, those, he has two separate philosophies that completely contradict. Cause I agree. You do got to build your relationships. He, uh, just is not going about it at all correctly in my opinion. And, but you know, uh, we're already starting to see, um, that bear out in the facts. So it's not really so much my opinion anymore, although we still obviously have the rest of this season to go to see if he can somehow turn it around. But yeah, uh, I have a feeling we're just going to get our asses handed to us against uh, the Patriots and then the Cowboys and then uh, whoever we play after that, I forgot. Um, it's not the Steelers. We play the Steelers later. I think later in the year. Anyway, it's not going to get any fucking better. And he's just going to continue to lose this team. And it's just going to get worse and worse. The results on the field are going to get worse and worse. Um, anyway, so that's all I got for you guys. Um, like I said, some news notes, roster moves, a uh, little injury news, stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. I hope you guys enjoy my videos. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comment section. And of course, as always, make sure you follow me on Twitter, at Dylan Tartaro. And with that, I am out. I'll see you all soon. Fins up. <laughs>